Well, Google announced a bunch of new features for Performance Max campaigns today. You'll recall that Performance Max, or PMAX, is Google's all-in-one campaign type that uses automated bidding, automated target, and is even trying to get you to use automated creative. Here with all the details is our Google Ads correspondent, Jill Saskin-Gales. Jill spent six years working at Google Ads and is now a Google Ads coach who runs the Inside Google Ads training program and podcast. Jill, lots of activity at Google Ads today, lots of new features. Which one stood out to you? The features that really stood out to me today were the announcements around image generation and video generation, because we know, on the one hand, that's such a challenge for business owners and marketers, and on the other hand, a place where Google's really trying to push AI. Uh, So Google announced today that their latest image model, Imagen 3, I believe it's called, is what will now be used to generate images in PMAX and demand gen and other campaign types. Previously, when I've tried Google Ads, the built-in image generator, I've not been so impressed, so excited to see a new model there. And then video generation. Now they can take, they're calling it video enhancements. So taking one of your videos, but then automatically resizing it to a vertical video, for example, so that it opens up more inventory to you, again, in PMAX and demand gen and other campaign types. And then uh, one more that I thought was interesting is experiments. You know, Google's adding a lot of different experiments in for performance maths, which which lets you A-B test different features. And I always consider this a little inside look at what the key advertiser objections are to performance max because if Google's adding an experiment about it, they're trying to prove you wrong that you should listen to them. So one of those experiments is you can test the impact of a feed only P max versus adding assets because of course Google wants you to add mm-hmm. image and video assets to serve a more inventory. And then the other experiment that's coming is testing turning final URL expansion on versus keeping it off. And final URL expansion means that rather than just leading people to the one URL that you pick in your ad, Google gets permission to land people on any page of your website from PMAX that it deems will drive the best results. So most advertisers I know keep that off, uh, but you can now experiment with turning that on. So this tells me these are some big features Google really wants us to do that not enough people are doing yet. Now, are these A-B tests that we control or are things that Google, these are things that Google will just kind of do on their own? These are experiments that you can choose to set up in your account. So there's actually about a dozen different kinds of experiments you can run, and basically all the infrastructure is set up for you. So let's say you want to test turning final URL expansion on, you select that option, and then Google will direct a certain portion of traffic through that experiment, a, th- a certain percentage through the control, and will actually tell you when you have enough data to have statistically significant results. So it just makes A-B testing really simple. And you can do this in all campaign types, not just PMAX, but these are two new of these kind of built-in experiments that Google wants you to test because Google feels pretty confident you'll see better results if you do what they tell you to do. Google wants you to test. Google wants more advertisers to adopt Performance Max. Uh, How have they been doing that in the last few months or so? Um, I assume by giving advertisers what they want, more transparency, more control. Maybe a little bit. We've seen a few transparency and control features recently, like brand exclusions, for example, or the fact that negative keywords are coming to Performance Max. Okay, true, not true, true. Yet. But, um, but other ways uh, that Performance Max is being rolled out that people may not realize, one is with Google Ad Grants. So Google Ad Grants are a way that eligible nonprofits can receive $10,000 a month to spend on Google Ads with a lot of restrictions. And historically, it's been search campaigns only Now, uh, ad grants accounts are starting to be able to use performance max campaigns. However, they'll only run on search inventory. So it's basically a way to run a search campaign with less control, if you want to. Uh, But that's one (laughs) way Google is kind of getting people over to PMAX. Another is when you create a new Google Ads account, you used to be defaulted into setting up a smart campaign, which I used to call a dumb campaign. Uh, But smart campaigns are gone now. I don't think anyone misses them much. But it means that now when you start a new Google Ads account, you are defaulted into setting up a performance max campaign, which has to be really overwhelming to uh, Mm. to Google Ads beginners. So those are two ways that Google's kind of phasing out um, products and moving more advertisers into PMAX who might not otherwise have used it. And uh, another interesting change, especially ahead of the shopping season, is Google announced that when you have a performance max campaign in your account and a standard shopping campaign, Historically, PMAX would always be prioritized. Like if both of them could show an ad for a certain product, PMAX would win. 
But now Google recently announced that whichever one has the higher ad rank will win and go forward to auction, which is how it always should have been. Um, but again, I think this is a way for Google to say, look, it's okay to test performance max. If your standard shopping still has higher ad rank, it'll win. Uh, so we'll see if you know more and more advertisers take a bite out of that Pmax apple. That's peculiar uh, to me. It, you know, it sort of flies in the face of their usual model of sort of putting Pmax in front of everything. Do you have a sense of why they've decided to kind of back off the, uh, the priority on that? I think it's to get more advertisers to test Pmax who previously wouldn't. Because if you knew that Pmax would always win over standard shopping, you just wouldn't launch Pmax at all. You don't want it to cannibalize your great standard shopping performance or demand gen performance or what, search performance or whatever else you're running. Uh, so with this ahead of the holiday season, Google must want more advertisers, more e-commerce advertisers to be testing Pmax who haven't previously. And this provides a little bit of safety to say, no, the one with the higher ad rank is still the one that will go forward. This is not going to drive it for CPCs. You know, don't worry, just go test it. How many more months before the only campaign type you'll be able to run on Google Ads is Performance Max? Ooh, I'm still going to say maybe 36 months, <laughs> but, okay. but I do All think right. it's coming. I do think yeah. it's coming. I do too. All right, thanks, Jill. Thank you. Jill Saskin Gales is our Google Ads correspondent. She's here every second Wednesday. You can learn more about her Google Ads training program at our affiliate link at todayindigital.com/ga.